In this video, I will show you how you can use automation to promote your NFT project. This is going to be great because it is going to help us save loads and loads of time. This is the first video in a series of videos that I am making about automation. We will be using Microsoft Flow and Microsoft Desktop, which are technologies provided by Microsoft to create all of the automations that we need. So to start, we have to search for Flow Microsoft. The first link is probably going to be the one from Microsoft Power Automate. Right here, we are going to have to create a Microsoft account or an Outlook account, or if you have a company account that is using Office 360, you can use that. Otherwise, create a free Microsoft account. Once you have created a free Microsoft account, you will be redirected right here to flow.microsoft.com. This is where we are going to create our first automations. What we have to do is create a Twitter automation. To create a Twitter automation, we're going to go to create and create an automated cloud flow. This means that our automation is going to start automatically when something happens. So we want to create an automation that is going to do something when we post a tweet on one page. So when we post a tweet on one page, we want that tweet to be captured and retweeted on another page. So that's what we are going to be doing. So let's call this retweet and let's search for a trigger that is going to be called Twitter. What is a trigger? A trigger is just something that is going to trigger our automation. All right, so here, this is the first step. Now, if you have not done this previously, you need to click on these three dots and add a new Twitter connection. I have already added my account. It is just about signing into your account. Now, once that is done, we see that we have a first action here. So here, when a new tweet is posted, so let's uh, let's for example search for NFT collection. So when a tweet is posted about an NFT collection, let's do something. Let's search for another action and let's search for Twitter again. Now, once I click on Twitter, I see all the different actions that I can do. I can post a tweet, I can retweet, I can get the followers, I can get the following and so on. So what we are going to do is we are going to post a tweet. So we're going to post a tweet every time there is a tweet on Twitter that is about an NFT collection. That means that we're going to be posting loads and loads of tweets. Now, this is just an experiment. Obviously, Twitter is going to block us after uh, 10 or 15 tweets, but this is just to show you how this works. So we are going to be adding the text that we want to retweet. So first, we're going to get the name of the user that has made this tweet and we're going to tell him you have a great project that's that's pretty much it so every time somebody posts something on twitter with nft collection we're going to retweet their name and we're going to tell them that they have a great project now this is pretty much everything we have to do to create this kind of automations so let's just save this and test this automation out and see if it works so let's test the automation and let's test this automation manually so this is just going to capture a tweet. So now, as soon as there is a tweet that is posted on Twitter, this process is going to execute. So it has obviously executed immediately. We don't have to wait for anything. We can see that it has been, uh, that something has been posted. We will go into this results in a second. Let's go to our Twitter account and see what we have. So we see that we've made all of these posts in the last, so we made four different posts in the last uh, 50 seconds so we have uh, different different people and we have our post so this is how easy it is to create automations obviously this automation is not doing much but there is plenty of different automations that we can create in conjunction also with microsoft power automate desktop that are really powerful and it can help us save really loads of time the way that i'm using this automation is i have a series of different accounts and every time an account is uh, every time my main account posts something all of the other accounts automatically retweet that tweet that is also very simple. So all we have to do is we would change this initial trigger. So let's delete this trigger. And let's add another trigger. So let's add, let's search for Twitter. And we're going to have when a tweet is posted, but this time we're going to add a, a username. So when a tweet is posted by by process lens, we are going to just retweet this tweet. So let's delete 
this step. Let's add a new step and let's search for Twitter. We're going to add a retweet and in the tweet to be retweeted, we're going to add the tweet text. We're going to save this and our automation is ready in a couple of minutes. That is amazing. That could help us save loads of time if we have different accounts that are promoting our NFT collection. Now I can do the same for all of the different Twitter accounts that I own and that I manage. No need to use a social media uh, management account. We can just use Twitter to out or, or Microsoft Power Automate Flow to automatically do this kind of things. I also want to invite you to check out the links down below. There are some really special links. So if you have time, check out the description and check out the links. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.